Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Hayden, and today we're gonna to be talking about video games. This actually pretty good. The long-awaited arrival of Forza Horizon's fifth installment, Forza Horizon 5, has finally dropped about a week ago is when you could get it if you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. So I've actually been playing it for a week, getting the feel of the game. And I gotta say, probably one of the best games ever. Now, I play on Xbox, not PC, and you can't get it for PlayStation. Personally, I think this game sells it for the Xbox. Okay, so Forza Horizon. It is set in Mexico, a fictional location that has bits of the Baja coast from Baja, California, but then it also has bits of the tropical coast, such as Riviera Maya. There is a 1.5 times bigger map for this game, as well as 11 different biomes spread across it, one of which is the canyon. Here I'm going to have to show you some gameplay of Quick because it has this whole different kind of audio that they've developed because it's in a canyon, so the sound bounces off the walls. And I can't really notice the sound here, but when you're in a tunnel, you can for sure notice it. So here's the canyon. Personally, I think the tunnel sounds a lot better. Now, in this version of the game, in the last game, there was only around 400 something cars. Now we have 520 cars, right? With brands ranging from Audi to W Motors. My personal favorite probably being the 2020 Land Rover Defender or the 2020 Bronco. Personally, I like off-road cars. I also do like the Porsche Taycan though, but above all, it is probably the Defender. It's probably one of my favorite cars. Um, I personally like the new car selection. I like a lot of the newer cars because it's cool to be able to drive cars that like you read about in magazines, such as Car and Driver. What I wish they would really add is this Audi RS7 right here because it just looks awesome in that gray. Another thing I really like is they've geared this game to choosing your own destiny. Like Forza Horizon 4 was a lot of on-road driving and there was lots of street races but not as many off-road races. But with this game, there is actually different festival locations called outposts around the map, which by the way, the map is gorgeous. It is super visually appealing. They did an amazing job on that bed. And I really love that. One of my favorite places has to be this Mayan temple. It's just stunning at night or during the day, it has to be this bridge. Another thing I also think that they changed about Forza Horizon 5 from Forza Horizon 4 is the jumping mechanics, like the gravity. Because as you can see in this clip right here, that's gonna play. The car jumped crazy amount of height. Another thing I do really like is more off-road races. I don't think they had enough of that in Forza Horizon 4. And those are personally my favorite, probably the cross country or the Bajas it's called now, because I don't know, I'm just really good at those races. I also really love dirt races. I like the cars. Um, I currently have 41 cars in my garage. Like I said, my favorite probably being the 2020 Defender. Second favorite might be the Debretti um, Ford F-150 pre-runner, or it might be this Porsche 911 that I just got with this Apple paint job, and it is just really cool. Something else that's super cool that they added for Forza Horizon 5 is the adventures. Now, I think it's super cool. You have to get enough of these points called accolades to unlock your next adventure, and you can do ones that help you find festivals or ones that just give you more accolades and are just fun missions. One of my favorites was probably this one where you had to go with a character named Ramiro to explore this abandoned temple and find like these statues and photograph them. It's actually the same temple that I showed you guys that was all lighted up. So I thought that was super cool. That's all we got for today's video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.